My name is Al Camp. I'm the CEO of the Rental Owners and Managers Society of BC, but my question has nothing to do with that. I will be talking to your officials about the impact of HST in our industry. I'm old enough to be less concerned about myself and more concerned about my kids and my grandkids. We hear a lot about the deficit budgets that we're going to face for the next several years. And what we don't hear too much about is the debt uh, increase that results from those deficits. My numbers may be wrong, but I think we're going to see an increase in the provincial debt of something in the neighborhood of $25 billion from what it was a few years ago. So I have two questions. Uh, is this going to affect the province's credit rating? I think it's at AAA presently, or has been, number one. And number two, $25 billion probably represents about $1 billion of annual interest. Uh, is that being accounted for, and where is it going to come from? Uh, yes, it is accounted for. So the total debt of the province at the end of the three years of this uh, budget plan will actually come up to about uh, $52 billion. Now that includes what we refer to as the taxpayer supported debt, but it also includes what we refer to as the commercial debt. So uh, BC Hydro, for example, is the biggest component of the growing debt on the commercial side. Um, and that's basically because of uh, aging infrastructure and they've got a significant, under, um, significant capital projects underway to make sure that, uh, that we can still count on the, the electrical generating capacity that we count on from BC Hydro going forward. But on the taxpayer supported debt side, there's, uh, that is going up. Um, we actually, in the previous five years, uh, we're able to pay down the direct operating debt of government from a high of about 13 billion down to under six billion dollars. Now, because we're going to be running deficits for these next few years, we are going to see that go back up again, but certainly not anywhere near where it maxed out at, at that 13 billion dollar mark. Um, on the, the other side of the debt is around the capital infrastructure. And uh, that is about building the projects that, uh, you know, that get amortized over many years. So the, the net result of sort of three factors, the, the declining economy, the, our GDP is going down, the rising, the deficits, and the increase in spending on capital projects, our debt to GDP ratio, which peaked out at about 21.3%, came down to 13.3%, and we are now forecasting that it will go back up to 18.1%. So yes, that's a big impact, but uh, to directly answer your question about the bond rating agencies, um, in terms of where we st were receiving some of the biggest upgrades from the bond rating agency is when we got our debt to GDP ratio down to about that 18% range. So we've talked to the bond rating agencies. Um, they were actually favorably impressed with the budget numbers. Uh, nobody likes to see those kind of deficits, but in our five-year plan, they actually recognize that we will get back to a debt reduction phase and we will actually see our debt to GDP ratio start to come back down uh, by the fourth year.